I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Today I've got five very affordable, cheap fragrances that really shine in the colder weather. To find out more, stay tuned to FM. I try to talk about all fragrances on this channel, designer, niche, clones, and cheap fragrances. So if you think you like the sound of that, please do consider subscribing. Today I have five of my favorite cheap fragrances that I love to wear when it's cooler. So let's get started. First up is a fragrance that I've championed a lot on my channel, but I couldn't not include it on this list. From Louis Cardin, it's sacred. I'm gonna to have to have a waft of this while I talk about it. I just love this scent so much. Mm. So this is a real rich, sweet, gourmand-like fragrance. There's some chocolate, vanilla, caramel, spices. You can actually pick this up for under 30 pounds. I think it's something like 29.95 on Louis Cardin's website, but you can get it less than that using the code in the description if you wanna get a little bit more money off. I'm just genuinely in awe of this fragrance. I don't know how Louis Cardin can produce such a high quality, luxury smelling fragrance at such a low cost. I mean, I'm sure it's the ingredients used in here and they can't be that expensive, but they've somehow managed to blend it all together to make it smell expensive. And that's the important thing. So it's rich, it's sweet, it's indulgent, but it's never too heavy. You would think it might just sit a little heavy and dense, but it, it doesn't. It's the spices and there's a lovely powdery quality to this fragrance, which give it diffusion and lift. So yes, it is rich, but it definitely has good projection. I get massive performance off this fragrance. It's easily gonna last you all day, eight hours plus. So if performance is a consideration for you, it is for most people, um, I think Sacred is gonna tick that box. So excellent performance, quality, mass appeal. It's very affordable. There isn't anything I can think of that people might not like about this fragrance. It's just mass appealing, easy going, easy to wear, smells luxury. Job done. Good job, Louis Cardin. No cheapy list is complete without a Zara fragrance, and this is based on one of the most popular fragrances on the planet. And I wanted to include this one because I think it's a, a great deal, but this isn't your typical dark, rich, sweet fragrance, just in case people don't want that. Not everyone wants that, even in winter. Some people still like things a little fresher. So I've picked from Zara, Vibrant Leather. Yes, this one smells like Creed's Aventus, but other than the note of bergamot, it doesn't officially share any notes with Aventus or none that Zara wants to share, but it does contain the note of bamboo. This one has me a little bamboozled, but I'm sure Zara are just having a bit of fun with this. They know it smells like Aventus. They know people are gonna buy this because it smells like Aventus. I'm sure nobody ever went into a Zara store, smelled this and said, wow, this is the bamboo fragrance I've been missing out on all my life. No. So I don't really get the Aventus pineapple in here and there's nothing really smoky about it, but it's essentially the same DNA and it's a pretty good take on it. In terms of performance, this, doesn't quite last as long or project quite as much as my 2016 batch of Aventus, but it ain't far off and it's probably as good as, if not better than the current formulation of Aventus. At 20 pounds for hundred mil, it's immense value, even better value than the other cheaper option out there, which is Mont Blanc's Explorer. And that one doesn't even have bamboo in it. The next one is from Perfume Parlor, but it's not a clone. No clones in this video, well, technically, I guess Vibrant Leather is a clone, but uh, we'll let it slide. Anyway, Perfume Parlor, not a clone. This is beautiful. Rose Tobacco. The tobacco in this Perfume Parlor fragrance that is not a clone reminds me of the smell of a rolled up cigarette before it's lit. It's got that sweet, woody smell and there's something that I find quite comforting about it. It's the sort of tobacco that's used in Faden's Tobacco Rouge and even Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, even though it's definitely not as loud as the Tom Ford. In fact, it's probably a bit more refined than that. 
The most impressive thing for me about this fragrance is the way the rose is blended in. It's this sort of spicy, masculine rose that just seems to blend seamlessly with the tobacco. It's difficult to work out where the rose ends and the tobacco begins or vice versa. So just a really well blended fragrance and the fact that it's not a clone just makes it all the more impressive. It's not a loud scent like Tabac Rouge. Projection is minimal, but longevity is good. All things considered, the price of this is just insane because you can get these 30ml sprayers for just £5.75. You can get the other sizes if you want, but that's what I paid for this one. If you're interested in picking it up, I will leave my Perfume Parlour link in the description below. So, superb fragrance from Perfume Parlour. If you like tobacco fragrances, if you're a tobacco fan and you like fragrances that are not clones, I'm sure you'll be impressed. Straight in with another insanely priced fragrance. If you love wood, you've got to try this one. Ragba Wood Intense. A hundred mil of this can be had for around £10 on eBay, which is your best bet for picking this one up. It's a rich, woody, balsamic smell that has a great assertive potency about it. So it's dark and sweet. There's some vanilla and some caramel in here. And it's this combination of dark and sweet that just makes me think of treacle toffee. It's quite a statement scent. For me, this one works best dressed up for a formal occasion. It doesn't have that fun, youthful vibrancy of a fragrance you would wear for clubbing or nights out. But if you want a fragrance that cuts through the cold winter air and commands attention at the same time, drop a tenner on this. Not had this next one for a long time, but it was an instant love for me and it quickly has become one of my winter favorites. From Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. I've mentioned this already in a few videos, but it was only while preparing to shoot this video that it suddenly clicked what this makes me think of. Vanilla cheesecake. Yeah, really. It's basically just vanilla, incense and sandalwood, but there's this crisp, clean, gentlemanly cologne undertone to it underneath the rich, creamy vanilla. I get good performance off this. I'm getting wafts all day. And for me, this is such a feel good fragrance. It's pleasingly uncomplicated, so it has a good degree of mass appeal. So if you're wearing this, be prepared. You might get some positive attention. It's not the cheapest on this list. This 50 mil cost me about 30 pounds, but it's such a well put together, addictive fragrance, I had to include it. So if you like gentlemanly clean colognes combined with vanilla cheesecake, then this is definitely a recipe you should sample. So there are my winter cheapy recommendations. And I was curious what the total cost of all these was, because I didn't think it would be very much. So I did the maths and it comes to a grand total of 92 pounds. So that's cheaper than most niche fragrances, even some designer fragrances. So if you're looking to build your winter fragrance wardrobe, you can do so for under hundred pounds. I just think for the quality you get in here, that's phenomenal value. And these aren't even just exclusive to winter. Yes, I put them in a winter list because they do excel in winter, but you could easily wear these in the spring, in the autumn. And of course, Vibrant Leather is one of the most versatile fragrances you can have in your collection. If you've tried these fragrances, do let me know if you have any of your own cheapy winter recommendations, you know, we've all got different things in our collection, so I'm sure you have different ones to me. I'd love to hear them. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.